What's up my fellow creatives and skill stackers? Hey, are you considering becoming a graphic designer? Something you wanna do as a career? Well, that's a great thing. It can be an amazing career, but you need to set realistic expectations for yourself if this is the path that you wanna go on. First things first though, you need to know that you don't need a college degree. And I'll explain why in this video. It actually only takes 10 minutes nowadays to become a graphic designer with softwares like Canva. I'm just kidding. But this is not actually what I'm talking about when I say becoming a graphic designer. There is a difference between amateurs and professional designers. The short answer, according to Malcolm Gladwell, is to become an expert in anything, it requires about 10,000 hours. In my opinion, being an expert is always about continuing to practice and learn no matter how many hours you've got under your belt. So there are three things that you need to understand that will make you a much better designer. Number one, you need to learn the software. You need to learn how to use professional design software, study people's content like Perfect or my favorite, Terry White, and get really familiar with the inner workings of programs like Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, and even Adobe Premiere, whether you're a graphic designer, web designer, or motion designer. Each of these are going to take a significant amount of time for you to learn, so you wanna pick one first and go all in on it. I spent about a year only working in Photoshop coming out of paint before I moved to Illustrator. And once I understood everything I could about Photoshop, I learned about it on blogs and articles and everywhere I could, then I made the switch over to Illustrator and that made Illustrator a lot easier to understand. I'm just curious, what is your go-to program for design? Are you using Photoshop, Illustrator? What is it that you're wanting to learn first? Maybe it's a web design program like Dreamweaver. Maybe it's some sort of other Adobe program. Let me know, drop a comment down below. I wanna hear from you. All right, the second part to this is you need to learn design principles. You need an understanding of color theory, typography, layout, hierarchy, alignment, and even texture. These are just to name a few things. So there's a lot of design fundamentals you're gonna to need to learn. It's also gonna take time for you to improve upon these skills. You're not gonna just learn about them and then immediately be able to implement them at the highest level possible. So the more you study and learn, the ins and outs of these things is gonna help you become a better designer over time. And this is why I want you to think long-term rather than short-term. Becoming a design expert or becoming a graphic designer is a marathon, not a sprint. Now, like I said before, you can get a basic understanding of these just by researching YouTube videos, watching content like this. But when I first started, I started looking at award-winning graphic designers and watching what they did. And I replicated the things that they did in their designs, and then I added my own personality, my own messaging, and my own style. I want you to replicate what is working rather than trying to recreate the wheel. You may have a very unique and artistic creative ability, but you need to do something that it actually is going to work for your customer and give them the outcome that they really want. The third part to this, and becoming a graphic designer is learning how to serve people. People is your business. You need to learn how to find and extract the information that you need to create a great design project. Knowing what questions to ask so you can fully understand what their wants and their needs are. I want you to find inspiration to create something that will actually impact them and their customers. It's gotta be a win-win-win. An example of a good question that you can ask them is what is the core objective that you want this design to accomplish? Whether it's a website, a flyer, a banner, you need to understand their objective. You'll need to learn how to educate your client in a presentation format as well so that you can explain why you've designed something in the way that you did. Being able to understand and explain and educate your clients is an important piece that a lot of designers make and I don't want you to make these same mistakes. So you also need to be ready for feedback. This is another big one that I think a lot of designers fail in. They're closed-minded, they think their artwork is the end-all be-all. You need to be able to take their feedback and take their criticisms if they want changes or even worse, if they don't like your designs. Being open-minded, being able to take their criticism is a really hard thing for an artist, but you gotta step away from it and remember that you're there to serve them. I think that many designers are just out to serve themselves first and not their clients. And this will take time and practice to learn and become better at, to hear their problems, to hear their pains, to hear what they really want. And a lot of clients don't really have good taste. They're not really great designers. This is why you need to educate them up front. So to wrap this all up, I think that you can become a, a designer in 10 minutes or in 10 years. It really just depends if this is the career that you wanna follow long-term or if this is something that you wanna do as a hobby. If you're wanting to take your graphic design career seriously, I have an opportunity for you to jump into a community with me called the Instagraphics Pro Network where we have a ton of web designers, graphic designers, and motion designers all trying to level up not just their business, but their life. 
So if you want to do that, you want to be part of our community, click the link down in the description, the Instagraphics Pro Network on Facebook and soon to be on our own app, our own format, where you can come in and hang out with us, share content, learn, grow, learn how to do sales, marketing, all that fun stuff. So I hope this was an impactful video for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.